Today we're in the wilds of the Mignant between Llyncelyn and Blaenau Fistiniog and we're looking at another marginal dewey here's uh, John Graham quickly catch me up quite wild uh, ground that we just passed over you'll have to excuse my pronunciation in this next bit the hill we're going to look at is Carrick A Urch or Carrick A Urch and uh, it's a marginal dewey two spot heights on the 1 to 25,000 map of uh, 513 metres there's a hill that I uh, surveyed with Rob many years ago but we only did uh, a survey from the uh, bulk not up to the summit because it was too great a distance for my uh, surveying method so here's Graham I thought I'd make the summit before John and Graham. They're off. <laughs> so uh, John's just uh, passing. He's got the uh, the pole and the um, and the staff. So I'll uh, I'll follow them up. Now there may be a little bit of audio break up on this because it's quite breezy. We're uh, just at the summit and um, although John and Graham did a, a very thorough job when they came up here last time, we're just double checking and John is just going to be roaming around for five minutes or so all the small uh, high points and uh, Graham's going to check that through the, uh, through the level. Whoops! Um, that's me tripping over my rucksack. Um, and obviously, and the idea of this obviously is to uh, make sure that where we do place the GPS, it is at the uh, at the very highest point. So here's Graham on the level. I'll uh, close off in a minute or so. So uh, I'll just give a close up of the level. No, there's none. No, it's, it's definitely a lot of that is. And it's, uh, here's the job. What's the difference between those two points, John? Um, three centimetres. So uh, this one's about three centimetres lower. I think that's it. So we've worked out the uh, the highest point, which is where the, uh, the the pole is, just to the right of John, to view this. And uh, we'll set the GPS up on uh, the very highest point and let it tick away. And I suspect we'll probably get an hour's worth of uh, data. So, just for now. Ah, now Graham's going off to check one of two little uh, other points. There is a rocky outcrop over on the right hand side, and I suspect Graham will be roaming over there. We're just on the, uh, the edge of some rather murky weather coming in from the west. I'll just pan around.
we're on the way towards the bulk and as you can see from the underfoot conditions it's not very favourable to uh, quick walking although we have actually just passed over a path up towards a marker stone and that is what Robert Woodall and I surveyed too when we came here many years ago here's John, we're in the wild depths of the Mignant and uh, from summit to here it's been pathless quagmire and tussock grass but we're we're pretty close to the bull company John eh? Oh. So another, yeah. another five minutes and uh, we should be now unpacking all the gear. So uh, I'll just pan around so you can get a little view of the territory. Uh, we're at the bulk and John is going to show how far this um, this goes into the ground. There's a two metre pole. Go ahead then, John. <laughs> I'm still going. I'm still going. <laughs> Now, this hill, John and Graham had surveyed for summit position uh, two or three years ago because on the 1 to 25,000 map there were two ring contours at 513 metres. So they wanted to ascertain then which of those two was actually the higher, which they did. Now, the OS map data for the bulk, it's between eight, uh, sorry, 480 and 490 metres. And as I've just mentioned, the OS summit data gave it a spot height of 513 metres. Now many years ago I conducted a rudimentary survey along with Rob Woodall and we estimated the height gain from bulk to summit to be 100 foot which equates to 30.48 metres. So we've now got the accurate survey data. The bulk comes out at 481.8 metres and the summit comes out at 511.0 metres. That gives the hill uh, a prominence or a drop of only 29.2 metres. So this hill wasn't in the original Dewey listing, it only entered it through the survey that I conducted with Rob Woodall, but it's now been accurately surveyed and it is now a deleted hill from the Dewey list.